Today on JRA TV, we're talking about airsoft teams. What is up guys, it's Noble here from Jolly Roger Airsoft and today we are going to be talking about how and why you would start an airsoft team. Wait, yeah. So the first thing to understand is there's a lot of different kinds of airsoft teams and organizations out there. A lot are looser, some are tighter, uh, some are more disciplined, some are less disciplined, some are more structured, some are less structured. Here at Jolly Roger Airsoft we're very much on the less structured side. We don't have official positions or ranks or anything like that. We just kind of like going out and playing, and it works out because we have good chemistry with each other. We know each other really well. So we can listen to what we're saying and uh, follow the leader when we need to. Um, so there's a lot of different ways to approach it. You don't have to have a structured rank system or anything like that. Uh, you can easily go out and just find a group of friends and have fun. There's no problem with that at all. Some people aren't looking for the structured thing. If you are looking for the structured thing, there are also teams out there for you too uh, that do a lot more hardcore training and stuff like that. Um, but the biggest thing to recognize is that not everybody wants the same thing. And a lot of times rank and uh, positions often bring more drama than they should and need to. And if you can get along without it, and everybody just kind of understands each other, that's the ideal situation. And that's what we have here, and that's why I really love it. The most important thing when starting an airsoft team is really to find a group of people that you can really get along with well. Uh, if you can't get along with the people well, you're not going to have a good time out there, and it's going to be completely pointless. Even if the, si the simulation is really cool, if you don't like the people you're with, it doesn't really matter that much. The people are really the most important thing here. So find a group of people you really like, ideally close friends, something like that, that you can go out and play with for a long period of time and get to know. The more you play together with these group of people, uh, the better you will know them and the better you will be able to work together as a team, and the better you'll be able to communicate even without talking or just kind of knowing what the other person is thinking. By this point, after three or four years, we have a pretty good idea of what each other are thinking, what we're doing, and um, yeah, you just kind of have to develop that over time. And once you do, it'll be a lot of fun because you'll have a lot of fun with your good friends. And uh, you get to go on road trips and shoot people and have great stories to tell. And that's the best part of it, just the friendship. So, find some friends and you are on your way. Now, logistically, you don't have to have like a commander or something like that. It can be a looser organization so long as everyone kind of understands each other and knows what's going on. Now, if you don't have the same chemistry or you don't, you have a lot of problems with that, sometimes it can be good to have a leader who can step in and really take charge of a situation and have everybody follow them. Um, so you just have to kind of balance that when you're starting an airsoft team. Know that not everyone wants the same thing, but also know when to take charge and really get people moving in the right direction. Because you have to have someone to do that at some points. We all kind of trade off doing that, depending on the situation, depending on what we're doing. Um, but if you see an opportunity to really step up and be a leader, be a leader. It's a good thing. It's good practice for, you know, life. I may the force be with you. Now here at Jolly Roger Airsoft, we basically have Joe as our point man. Here at Jolly Roger Airsoft, we basically have a few different roles that we've developed into. Torch is our point man, but he was trained by Voodoo, so Voodoo can also be a point man. I like to manage stuff, so I'm kind of a manager. I try to manage the battle when we're out there. And then Razor, of course, Razor's sneaky sneak and snipe. He likes to sneak around and snipe and hide and all that good stuff. Um, Angel's a lot like me, he likes to manage the battle, and, um, lead, and then Torch, or no, not Torch, Hollywood and Smokes, uh, those two really work well together, um, but they're more up front attacking, good riflemen, soldiers, you know, they're good frontline guys to have around, and they'll run out and save you, but everyone can really do every other job, it's not like we're set in those roles, um, you just, you just kind of fall into what you're good at. And uh, we've really developed a good group here where we have a lot of different people who are good at a lot of different things. And that's why it's a good group to have around. They're all doers. And you really want to cultivate that when you're uh, building your airsoft team. You want to make sure that the people you are with will actually go out and do stuff and not just stand behind on the front line, uh, but stand behind the back. You want them to be out there on the front lines, really attacking, completing objectives, saving wounded people, all that good stuff. You want to be a doer team and not just a standing around team. And we've talked about this before. But... You really want to be a doer. 
not just standing around. That's the best advice I can give you to being a successful team. Fashion man. Now, if you want to be a more regimented team, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I'm sure a lot of people want something like that in their airsoft experience. Um, and there's a lot of different resources out there for uh, good organizational techniques there. Because um, you, know, you have basically the military to pattern yourself after. And that is, um, that's also a very cool thing. Uh, you just have to be careful again with you know, the power struggles and stuff like that. You don't want that so much. You just kind of want everyone to understand and have a good time while they're playing with each other. If you're not having a good time, it doesn't really matter. Um, because if you're not having a good time, then who are you going to tell these stories to? Uh, that's a big thing. You come away with these operations with the stories that you tell your teammates and you talk about them. And, you know, we still talk about stories from Revelations 3 and uh, Cairo, Apocalypto, all that good stuff. Um, so, yeah, I find a group of friends, no matter what they really want, and uh, just play with them. And that's the best way to start a team. Now, I could talk all day about the uh, internet marketing side of your team, how to get recognized as a team in the general community. That's a whole nother can of worms. But basically, YouTube, videotape yourself talking. And if you really like YouTubing and you like making videos, then you eventually will come to a point where you'll get some cooler new stuff and the videos will get better and better and better as you learn more. And it's a great learning experience. I highly recommend it. That's how I learned everything about videos that I know. And um, it's really helped me in a lot of different things in a surprising amount of ways, actually. So if you really want to get into that, YouTube is the way to go. That's pretty much the Airsoft hub. Um, you can also go on forums, but I think most, rec most of our recognition comes from YouTube and stuff like that. So if you want to get a recognized team, YouTube. Now, when naming your team, try and be different. Uh, there's a lot of recon, tactical, X teams, or whatever. Uh, try and be different. Try and find something that really stands, you, sets you apart from the rest of the crowd. It doesn't have to be super tactical. Um, it just has to kind of be unique to yourselves. And if it has meaning, great, but it doesn't necessarily have to. Just think of something that's cool, unique, and different. Like Jolly Roger Airsoft, I have no real connection to pirates or anything, but it just came to me, and it stuck, and I liked it. So Jolly Roger Airsoft came, turned out well as a name. And, um, yeah, I encourage you to find another name, like, uh, I don't know, I can't say anything off the top of my head, but the more you use the name, it'll probably fit pretty well, no matter what it is. So, just be unique when it comes to naming your team. That's all Joe's fault. Communication. Since Facebook is not cool anymore, it's very difficult for me to communicate with my teammates. You better be watching this. Um, but, communication, email, works well, if you have to. Facebook, a Facebook group, something like that. Um, you can also do Twitter if everyone's on Twitter, I suppose. But use your social media to really communicate with these people. You can text them, group chats or whatever. I don't know what kids do these days. Um, but there's a lot of different avenues you can take when communicating. Just make sure that you can contact everybody when you need to. And um, make sure that they're showing up regularly. And if they're showing up regularly, then they'll have fun. And there are times when people are busy and won't be able to do it. So have a lot of different people there. And uh, you'll be fine. Um, yeah, it's just about having a good group. And uh, if you can tell them when everything is effectively, whether it's through Facebook or texting or email, whatever, um, you know, that's a good thing to have. So have a little way to contact everybody on your team. That's one big tip. Contact everybody. Finally, it comes down to practice, practice, practice. Just the more you play with your team, the better you guys will mesh, the more you guys will know each other. And uh, it'll be a lot of fun. So just play together, have fun. Just kind of hang out sometimes, that's fine too. Uh, just, you know, kind of chill. And it'll be a lot of fun, you'll have a lot of great stories to tell. And um, yeah, you come with a great group of friends. So, that's you what you are into, starting an Airsoft team. Uh, I hope this helps. So, with that being said, thank you for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, suggestions for new videos, whatever, leave them in the comments section below, please. Um, Apocalypto 2 will be July. Early July, July 8th, I believe. Um, so we'll have the video from that coming up soon as well. Should be a lot of fun. And, um, yeah, we're going to go to Battlehack this summer, do some other stuff. I don't know what we're going to do. But it'll be fun. Stay tuned. That's all I got. I'm going to stop rambling. Thanks for watching. Peace out. That's all Joe's fault.